Hey, what is up, guys? Twins here, and uh, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to set up a Minecraft server in your Ubuntu server. Um, a lot of people requested a tutorial from the last tutorial that I did, so I thought I'd give it a go. And um, so yeah, let's get right to it. And if you enjoy the tutorial and find this helpful, make sure to leave a rating and a comment. Okay. Now the first thing you want to do is open up your server terminal. I'm using Putty since I'm on Windows, and uh, but you might have like a server or something. All right. So once you open this up, you just want to log in to your account. I'm like MLG, so I put hacker. Just kidding. All right. Just log into your account. I think I might have typed my password wrong. No, never mind. Okay. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure all your databases are fully updated. And the way you do this is just type sudo apt dash get update. This will basically update your whole database. And um, yeah, it could take a long time depending on how how fast your internet is and um, how the connection is. And also on if your database has recently been updated. Mine has just updated like a while ago, so it shouldn't take long for me. Just let that load. Okay, just let that load. Sorry, guys. I'll just my I might speed this up. All right. Now that it's downloaded, you want to make sure you have a uh, Java installed. And the way you check if you type Java dash version, and if it, this pops up, Java version information, Open JDK, then that means you have it installed. But if you don't, then you, you want to type sudo. If this doesn't pop up, then you want to type sudo apt get install default dash jdk and this basically install the latest version of java java it shouldn't take long okay now um you want to install the program called screen which would basically make it so that you could run the minecraft server without and being able and be able to close your terminal without the server crashing and the way you install this is sudo apt dash git sorry install screen all these commands are going to be in the description in case you guys can't catch up. Alright, this shouldn't take long as well. Uh, depends on how fast your internet is and the connection. So once you have that installed, you want to create that directory for your Minecraft server. At least you could, uh, the uh, optional thing you, that you could do could be um, to create a different user. It's recommended if you like have a, planning to have a big server. It's recommended that you create a new user so people can't skip fully get access to your root and then they get access to your server and everything. So it's recommended you have a different user. I'm not gonna go through all this, but if you guys want, I can link a dis I can link a tutorial in the description on how to create a new user. And basically, you just go you create the new user and just go from there. But I'm not gonna do that part. So yeah, the first thing you wanna do is create a new directory for your Minecraft server. The way you do this, is mkdir, mkdir, and then just call the directory whatever you want. Sorry about that background noise. My little baby, baby sister. You want to type mkdr and then whatever you want the directory called, I'm just gonna call it Minecraft. So, oop. Oh, I already have the directory called Minecraft, but it's okay. And then you, it just basically create the directory. Once you have the directory, you want to type cd space slash Minecraft. No, sorry, cd Minecraft. Just cd Minecraft. And then it'll put you in the directory of the Minecraft folder you just created. And now what you want to do is gonna you want to go ahead and download the latest uh, Minecraft server. Or you could you get this you could get this from the Mojang website, the Minecraft website, sorry. Just show you guys. Oops. Alright, once you're here you're gonna go download. And you wanna right click Minecraft underscore server point one point eight seven. You wanna copy that right click that, click copy link address. We're gonna you wanna make sure you have this link right here. And then not don't download this one, this is a different thing. This command could also come in useful, but I have that I already have that in the description. Okay. Once you have that, you want to type, sorry, you want to type w get space minus zero, sorry, o, oops, minus o, and then you want to type minecraft underscore server dot jar, and then you want to paste in the link, the way you paste it in just by right clicking your mouse, so you type that, and we'll put that link, and you just click enter, and what this would do, oops, sorry, sudo w get w. If you guys are in the root super, root, I mean the root profile or user, you won't you won't need to do the pseudo part. But since I'm not in the root, it's gonna it keeps asking me for this. You wanna type this and just again paste that link in. 
and that would go ahead and download the connect download the correct jar shouldn't take long it tells you right here it's zero seconds so okay now once you have that done you want to create a new session and the for screen and the way you do this is type screen minus s right open quotation mark sorry space open quotation mark and just name it whatever you want i'm just gonna name this minecraft and this this basically opens a new screen as you can see and then uh what you want to type in here is you want to type you want to create a script for the minecraft server you don't have to type a script um but it's better than typing the whole java space it's, ba it's better than typing the whole command that you need to so just usually you, when you've created a script then you just need to run the script and it opens the server up and the way you type do this you type sudo nano and then just name the minecraft script whatever you want i'm just gonna name it minecraft.sh or you could also name it my run.sh or whatever and then you want to type in your password this basically can create a document for the script and once you have this open you're going to type in this command that i have in the description bam it's just basically setting the to run java at one ram through one ram and then the minecraft server jar and no gui gui you go also uh, optionally if you want to run it you have a bigger server i only have a small server so i'm only doing one ram but you could do like two or three or four depending on your minecraft server and now once you have this command in there you want to type control x you want to you want to type Y and then just click enter and this basically creates the script and now you're basically done you launch your script that you just made by typing sudo bash and then minecraft dot sh um, if you're a root user you don't have to type the sudo thing and then yeah once you have this you want to type this enter and it's gonna take a while and it's gonna load the script which basically launch the server it shouldn't take long for you. I don't know why it's taking long for me, but usually it just runs it right instantly right where you press it. Okay. And now, um, see what it did here? It's, it says fail to load EULA text. It's, this kind of new in Minecraft. Um, so what you want to do is it stops the server by itself. So now what you want to do is you want to type sudo nano EULA dot TXT. It's basically going to open, gonna open this, this text file. Click enter. And now you want to scroll down. The way you scroll down is clicking the arrow keys. You wanna go over here where it says false. Go ahead and erase that. Oops, equals true. Once you have this control X and enter. Oh sorry, Y and then enter. And now you should be able to run the script again by typing sudo bash minecraft.sh. It's gonna run the shell command, the script. And now again it's gonna take a while for me, but it shouldn't take long for you. this load sorry about that all right now it's generating the whole server it's gonna have a lot of commands since it's the first time that it's running the thing it shouldn't it shouldn't have a lot of commands every time you create the server it's just the first time that you create it I mean open it let me go ahead and find my minecraft while I wait The command that you will use for your server is the same command that um, to connect to the server is the same command that you use to connect to this to the VPN to the server terminal. So if you if you don't know this command, then you could just type if config in your main root, and it tells you your IP there. So just go ahead and log into Minecraft. And um, if you guys want to like do something else, but don't you, if you close this right now, nothing would happen because it's just in screen. But if you, let's say you want to go back to the terminal without closing it, the way you do this is you do Control A and D. Basically closes the, the screen. It's, the server is still running behind, but you can't really see it. And now uh, if you want to get your IP, you want to type IF config. And basically this this IP right here, this would be your um, your server IP. So let's go ahead and open up Minecraft multiplayer. Direct connect. I already have it typed in. 192.168.1. But yours is gonna yours is obviously gonna be different and you had to log in. To connect back to the screen, what you do is type screen space minus R and it shows the script again and it says see since I has joined. Okay. And then I'm in the server. Um I'm to port forward is a whole uh big other thing. Uh, if you have a public if you have a, if you went in this uh the this terminal screen, the, the sorry, if you're renting your server, your Ubuntu server, then uh, you don't have to do any of this. The uh, port forwarding, you're basically done. You just connect to the IP and you're done. 
However, if you are um, like like I am and hosting the server off another computer, another Ubuntu computer, then you will need to uh, call for your other computer. And the way you do this is by there's this cool website that just basically makes it so easy for you. You go to portforward.com, this website, and then you want to go to scroll down to free guides. You just you want to click your internet whatever internet box you have. I have two wire AT and T, so you just click that, click close. All right, and then I have the model that I don't know, but basically you would just click your model, the model of the uh, box, and then you want to type you want to look for Minecraft. Okay, just look for Minecraft or it's Minecraft. Minecraft. Okay, Minecraft server. Once you have this, it tells you the whole tutorial on how to set your your server up. So how to pull forward your Minecraft server? Sorry, it just basically it helps. Like I'm pretty sure every single like internet box is on here. So that's basically it. Um, yeah, basically it's for the tutorial. Uh, if you guys want to know any other server tutorials on how to set up a uh, Steam, let's say a CS:GO server or Gary Smod, make sure to leave that in the comments below, and I'll make sure to try to do that tutorial for you guys. And that's pretty much it for me. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and yeah, peace.